Hello YouTubers, Reaper B back for video number two. Tonight we are gonna be screwing around with some plumbing, so should be pretty interesting. As you can see, we uh, made a few changes, or additions anyway. I got uh, the sump underneath, and then lined the uh, bottom of the stand with a shower pan liner. This in the event of uh, you know, a small leak or, you know, whatever it may be, the sump can probably hold about three inches of water before it goes elsewhere. Uh, you never know when that may happen, so preventative measure. Got the bulkheads mounted there and on the bottom of the tank there in the overflow. Can't really see them, but the this overflow is obviously meant for, you know, a dual overflow tank. This just has a single. So some of the options I was looking at as far as plumbing this, I do want to utilize both of those socks. Uh, some of the things aren't working out. Um, you know, that was one option right there, but you know, this width is actually greater than that width. So that's a problem. So I'm still thinking about it a little bit. I will come up with something. Um, just a couple tips, I guess on PVC. You see a lot of PVC jobs with the uh, you know the purple cleaner uh, dripping all over the pipe there's uh, a genius invention right here it's a clear cleaner so you don't have to worry about that uh, purple crap dripping everywhere all over the white pipe uh, and then obviously you got the the glue all right and then just a little added step you can see the UPCs that come on these pipes from the stores um, you can get that off if you want to right there acetone so that'll clean them up a little bit and get that off of there all right uh, the ball valves and then a bunch of unions you can see I was starting a little bit there and then uh, the red pipe which I'm going to be using which I have plenty of I'm realizing now that I'm looking at this whole deal uh, so I have a lot of excess to do uh, do whatever with hold on to who knows all right so we'll uh, get started on this and then uh, take a look all right all right I almost forgot this was a, a how-to deal so I'm gonna do a quick quick one two on uh, one two three on PVC uh, how to fuse them together or whatever you want to call it basically you got your your cleaner which I talked about in the first part you see that yeah so this is a clear cleaner again you won't have any of that uh, purple runoff uh, that'll be first and then you got your regular PVC cement all right um, obviously you want to dry fit everything you know do your measurements dry fit uh, stick it in there uh, you want to make sure it's all the way in when you're dry fitting it all right take a look in there you want to figure you know one inch the pipes going in one inch all right um, so take that into account, you know, it'll be one inch on each side if you're going into a fitting, all right? So basically, real quick here, uh, take your cleaner, clean the fitting all around. You don't gotta get too crazy, all right? And then clean the pipe in the same area, all right? That in there. You take your cement, again, you don't gotta get too crazy, but you wanna make sure you wrap it all right, same thing in the fitting. Ah, two pieces, they'll go together. You wanna to get them all the way in and try to give it a kind of a quarter turn as it's drying, all right? Uh, the pipe will have a tendency to pull out, so you wanna make sure it's all the way in. We know, you know, pulling out is not always the, the best way, all right? So make sure the pipe's all, all the way in and then uh, then you'll be good all right it, it basically fuses the PVC so you get uh, you know three four five seconds maybe uh, before you're you know not turning it anymore so you know you have a pretty quick set time you know that's why dry fitting is very important all right um, and, you know you can wipe off in there if you want maybe around here a little bit but that's really not too bad you get that yeah very nice very, very nice all right um, so again uh, cleaner and glue and uh, 
the next video um, I'll show you what happens when you you take a big stick your nose in there and take a big huff of that all right don't do that it's bad all right all right guys so here's about uh, I don't know halfway through uh, a little bit of cutting a little bit of glue and most of it's dry still dry fit but uh, that's what I came up with you got the overflow coming down to the uh, ball valve elbowed off um, and then teed to one of the uh, uh, filter socks and then over to the other filter sock and down. I'm pretty sure the flow or the rush of water will uh, take it to both of those, maybe less than one, but uh, still utilizing both. And uh, I got the unions right there. Actually, there's the bottom of them. Uh, so the whole unit can be... Uh, disconnected um, that ball valve is a, a true unit it's got a union on both sides so it can be disconnected on the top and then uh, on the bottom here it can be taken off you can see them. I actually glued those on there already but uh, that's where I'm at I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit of a pain in the ass but uh, you know I used about uh, probably two feet of red pipe and I got the 15 feet so that's uh, it's good news all right I'll check back when uh, when I got it all on there. All right, uh, there it is. Uh, finished product on the uh, overflow. Uh, completed, glued. All right. Kind of saw it a little bit in the the last one, but I mean, you got the uh, valve comes down to a T, and then the uh, two drops into. Uh, the socks again you got the uh, unions there and then the double union up there so basically the whole thing can be removed um, even these pieces you know obviously the bulkhead uh, can be taken out so all the stuff can come right off um, if need be um, and that's it I'm probably calling it a night I'll maybe do another video on the return uh, tomorrow possibly but uh, that's it uh, it's fairly easy, you know, a little more involved definitely than uh, flex tubing, but I think it looks, uh, you know, a little cleaner, a little neater, um, and obviously uh, the whole the whole product will will look a lot better with uh, PVC rather than flex tubing. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching.